Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video I'd like to answer a question that was recently posed to me about how to automatically update both the parts and an assembly's mass properties when saving. The customer that brought this up to me wanted to see if there was an iLogic rule that we could craft that would accomplish this, so every time they would hit the save button, the iLogic rule would run, and the part and assembly masses would be updated if there were any changes. Thankfully, you can accomplish that, but you don't have to create an iLogic rule. If you go to the application options in Inventor, and we look at the general tab, there's a little area here on the right where we can look at the physical properties, and you can check this box to update the physical properties on save, and you can determine if you want that to be parts or parts and assemblies. Now be aware this could add a little bit of time to the save process because it's going to have to grind through all of the assemblies. So be careful. You, you may want to still investigate an iLogic rule if you've got huge assemblies. But this is a nice, easy, practical step. So you go ahead and set that, which I've already done. And then every time we save this, it will generate a new mass. So if we look here, automatically generated the mass. So the real crux of the issue is if we come over here and we make a change to the part, we'll say make these a little bit longer plates. We come back to the assembly, you see it's updated. I'll just generate the update one more time. And now when I save this, you'll see it's got the mass property update is one of the reasons that it's generating the save. And this is a new feature in 2021 where it tells you why it's saving it. Go ahead and hit OK. And then if we take a look at that, the physical tab, you can see that we now have quite a bit more mass. So that's it. You can use that option in the application options to save the assembly. It will save the parts and the assembly and it will update the mass of each. So just a quick tip today. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.